The Apple Watch SE, Series 10, and Ultra 2 all offer something different. Whether you're into serious fitness tracking or just need something to tell the time. But picking the wrong choice could mean spending way too much on something you don't need or missing out on key features. In this video, I'm going to help you pick the perfect Apple Watch for you in 2024 so you don't waste your money on something you don't need. Let's start with the Apple Watch SE, the most affordable option. It starts at $249 and comes in two sizes, a 40 and a 44 millimeter. And it's available in midnight, starlight, and silver. If you've never had an Apple Watch, you're not really sure if you're gonna like it, but wanna give it a shot, the SE might be the one for you. Oh, and I'll make sure to link all these watches down in the description below. Although the SE is a really good watch, there's one big feature that's missing from it that I would hate not having, always on display. With an always on display, your watch face stays visible at all times. Without it, you'll either need to raise your wrist or tap the screen to check the time, which I mean, that's not that big of a deal, but the SE is the only watch that doesn't have an always on display. With that said, the Apple Watch SE still gets a lot of good features. You'll get sleep tracking, water resistance up to 50 meters, and 18 hours of battery life, which is the same amount of battery life on the Apple Watch Series 10. The SE also has a heart rate monitor, which is perfect for tracking activities on the fitness app. The SE also has emergency services like fall detection and emergency SOS. Fall detection can be turned on for someone that's at risk of a hard fall. That way, if they have a hard fall, it'll automatically contact emergency services. Emergency SOS is for someone that goes somewhere without service a lot, like on a hike. If you were to go on a hike and get lost or just need emergency services right away, you can use emergency SOS via satellite to contact the emergency services. One of the biggest features I use on my watch is just getting notifications. Being able to glance at your wrist whenever you get a phone call or a text to see who it is is really convenient and the Apple Watch SE does all that. That's why for most people I think the Apple Watch SE would be the way to go because that's the most important thing is just getting notifications and being able to tell the time. The Series 10 is really the only Apple Watch that's new in the lineup this year and it starts at $399 which is a pretty big jump from the SE but it gets a lot more features and a bigger screen. It comes in two sizes, a 42 and a 46 millimeter, which is actually the largest display ever on an Apple Watch and it's the thinnest Apple Watch ever. You can also pick between two different materials, aluminum and titanium, but the titanium adds $300 to the price. This watch also gets faster charging, louder speakers, and a new wide angle OLED display, which helps when you just wanna quickly glance at your watch and check the time. This watch is getting the dive app from an Apple Watch Ultra because it has a depth sensor up to six meters and it has water temperature sensor. It's interesting because the Series 10 has a lot of features that the more expensive Ultra 2 just doesn't have. So now, more than ever, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is a watch for someone with very specific needs. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 costs $799. It comes in black titanium and natural titanium. And it's interesting because even with its 49 millimeter case, it still has a display that's smaller than the biggest Series 10. Sure, the screen does get brighter, but this watch is still missing things like faster charging, the new S10 chip, and that wide angle OLED display that we see on the Apple Watch Series 10. So why spend twice the price? That's a good question. The Ultra 2 is designed for a very specific user. It's rugged titanium case, which protects the glass by bringing the titanium all the way up to the glass, and it's built for extreme adventures. You can seriously go scuba diving with this thing. It'll go down to 100 meters, and it has a depth sensor down to 40 meters. Plus, with its 36 hour battery life, it's perfect for extreme endurance athletes. If you're into high speed water sports like wakeboarding, or you're someone that might need a siren because you're on the slopes alone, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is the one for you. I'd say if you're looking for your first Apple Watch, you're not really sure if you're gonna like it, I'd stick to the SE because it's pretty affordable and it's got almost everything you'd need. But if you're looking to upgrade your Apple Watch, definitely get the Series 10 because it's easily the best Apple Watch I've ever had and I had the Apple Watch Ultra 2. I actually have both the Series 10 and the Ultra 2 and I've honestly let the Ultra 2 die because I just love the Series 10 so much.